My name is Hannah Cook. Today we're going to be doing a relaxation yoga. It's going to be about 30 minutes long and it's going to help you unwind from the day or allow you to take a little break in the middle of your day. Um, you'll only need a mat or a towel. Whatever you have works just fine. I'm going to go ahead and get started right here in easy pose. So if you're not already here, come into this position and meet me. Now that we're all here, I'm going to invite you to just notice your breath. Are you breathing really rapidly? As you begin to notice your breath, start to try to deepen the breath here. Inhaling long through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Make sure your back is up. Head feels like someone has pulled a string from the top so your spine is really straight. And just invite you to close the eyes here. Just notice the chest rising as you inhale, filling the belly with air. And as you exhale through the mouth, the sensation in your body, the navel pulling in towards the spine. Just continue here at your own pace, breathing in deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Open our eyes and we're going to come forward into our flat back tabletop position. So hands are about shoulder width apart, knees are about hip width apart. We're going to go into our cat cow position. So if you're uh, new to yoga, in this position, your cat pose, you raise the back up, you bring the navel, draw it towards the spine and you exhale like you're a cat arching your back. And as you inhale, drop the belly down, bring the head up, breathe deeply, fill the belly with air. This is your cow pose. Exhale, draw the navel towards the spine, releasing all of the air you're holding. Round through the back, chin comes to the chest. Nice long stretch through the, through the back here. Begin to go through this at your own pace. And I invite you to close your eyes and just move through this cycle in a way that feels good and natural to you. Sinking with your own breath. taking those long slow breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Come back to that flat back tabletop position here. We're just going to rock with the body. Circular position. We'll just move one way. Then we'll reverse and move the other way. It's really getting some nice gentle movement in the body. Good. All right, we're back here at our starting position, our nice flat back tabletop. We're gonna just sink our hips over our feet into a child's pose here. Our arms come straight out in front of us. We feel a nice pull in the shoulders, not overdoing it, but we're really 
bringing a nice stretch here to our shoulders, to our hips. And maybe your forehead comes down to the ground here and you move it back and forth just a little bit, giving yourself a face massage. Just allow this to help you notice if you're holding any tension in the forehead or the jaw. Just try to soften the face as you continue to breathe deeply here. And massage that forehead back and forth, side to side, on your mat or towel. Good. Let's raise back up. Bring the knees to the corners of the mat and those feet still together like you have frog legs going on here. And then we'll gently bring the hips back over the feet, extended child's pose. And you can really feel this in your hip flexors, right in the groin area. And so if this is uncomfortable in your body, please feel free to bring the knees in a bit. You don't want to hurt yourself, but you just want to get a nice stretch down through the hips here. Once again, maybe give yourself a little bit of a face massage. Breathing deeply. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the forehead. Releasing any neck tension you may have. Allowing the top of the body to sink towards the earth. Come back to that flat back tabletop position here now. So hands right under the shoulders, knees walk inward till they're about hip width apart. We're going to curl our toes under and push into a very gentle downward dog. So those hips come back and up, the chest goes in towards the front of the legs here, towards the quads. Good, gentle stretch and just walk the dog. So pedal the feet. And then gently walk the feet to meet the hands. And take it slowly here, remembering to breathe nice and deep. And up. Good, maybe come long ways on your mat here. We're just going to scoot the legs out, coming into a wide leg forward fold standing. So maybe you're here, maybe you're here, maybe you're here. Whatever feels good to you, okay? So your hands don't have to be touching the ground. It can be wherever they need to be to feel good in your body. We're just going to hang out here for just a minute. Coming back into the breath wherever you are, breathing deeply in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're going to walk the hands over to the left, breathe, allow your body weight to just sag, allowing gravity to help you stretch. Good. Inhale. Walk it over. Good. Let's just breathe deeply here on this right side. Once again, allowing gravity to help us stretch. Good. Let's walk it back to the center here. Let's grab opposite hand, opposite elbow, and let's just hang here. If you feel like you're holding any tension in your neck, holding your face up, just let that go. Let your head hang too. If you're holding any tension in your face, allow that tension to dissipate. Let your shoulders hang. Maybe 
Maybe you bring a slight bend into the knees here. And then maybe you allow those clasps, opposite hand, opposite elbow, stance. Maybe you just start to swing a little bit here, back and forward, just ever so slightly. Really allowing that neck to hang, face to be soft. Good, let's bring the hands back down. We'll heel toe the feet back together. In yoga, folding poses are supposed to be very, very calming. So we're trying to incorporate a lot of those into the practice today. Let's come down back into a seated position. We're going to bring the feet together into our cobbler's pose here. So in this pose you might know as butterfly from elementary school gym class. Feet are together. Maybe if your knees are way high up in the air here, maybe you're not getting that flexibility, that's totally fine. Just scoot the feet out just a little bit to allow those knees to comfortably come down a bit more. They don't have to be flush to the ground, but Make yourself comfortable. Let's bring the hands to the feet. Fold forward here. Breathing. Good. And as we talked about earlier, remember to just bring that deep breath awareness in through the nose, out through the mouth, as you fold forward here and allow gravity to just push the knees down just ever so softly. Maybe your head, your face starts to come towards the feet. It's okay if your face does not reach your feet, that's totally fine. But close your eyes here and just allow yourself to breathe deeply. And as you breathe, Notice your body may start to become heavier. And your body may start to fall a little bit deeper into that stretch. Maybe you notice your inhale expands your body. Maybe on an exhale Come deeper into your pose. And we're going to be here for just a few more seconds. Continue to breathe deeply. Start to come up. We're going to come onto the back. We're not finished yet here, guys. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching up the legs, back, and stomach. Just gonna come, lie down. Knees can be up, feet flush to the ground. Maybe hands come right by your sides. And just start to windshield wiper those knees back and forth very gently. Nice, slow pace. Maybe you close your eyes as you do this. You come inward. Notice your body and your breath. Instead of all the outside stimulus. We pay attention to everything else almost all day. It's very important to make time to go inward and notice how you feel in your body. Good. Let's stop here and bring those knees up to the chest. Give them a nice hug with your hands here and then rock back and forth with those arms clasped around the knees.
Swing the feet back, down. Our knees are still up, feet flush to the ground. And we're going to take our arms and gently raise our back and take our hands to our back here. Bringing in a nice supported bridge pose. So as the hips come up, your hands are supporting just that edge of your back there, back of the hips. Just supporting this bridge pose with your arms, with the hands. If you feel like your knees are starting to kind of flop outward, squeeze them back into the middle here. Breathe and slowly drop the hips back down. Okay, let's bring those knees back up to the chest again. Roll into a little ball. Squeeze the knees just a bit here. And then we're going to bring the legs up into the sky. They don't have to come straight. But we're going to counter that little bit of bridge pose we did there with some nice shoulder stands. So this is not a headstand, you're not putting a lot of weight onto the shoulders, but if it's at all uncomfortable, you're welcome to come out of this posture. And I'm gonna scoot down just a little bit to make sure that I stay in the frame. Hopefully me and my plant don't get too entangled here. So the feet come up to the sky a little bit here. We're gonna take the hands again. We're gonna place them on just the lower back word I was looking for before. So just bring those legs up, place the hands on the lower back, start to straighten out the legs. Now it's okay if your legs are bent, it's okay if your shoulder stand is low. Just do what feels good in your body here. Maybe you kick the legs just a little bit. Maybe you chill up here. This is your practice, so do what feels right in your body. Maybe your feet come down overhead if you would like to take full plow pose. That's where these toes come over the head. Just spend some time here. Draining the blood from the legs. Taking pressure out of your back. And slowly curl the knees and start to come back down. Go ahead and windshield wiper those knees back and forth here. One more time. Moving any tension. Okay. Let's take that right arm, bring it across to the left side, hold that there, and then allow the knees to fall to the right. Getting a nice twist here, releasing some of the tension you may be holding in the upper back. Good, breathe deeply. Okay, release here, we're going to bring it to the other side. Left arm goes over, right arm goes to support it. We're going to bring the legs over to the left. Your gaze goes to your right. And just allow the body to hang out here for just a moment, breathing deeply.
make our way over to our belly. You can just choose to roll, that's totally fine. This is a relaxing yoga. We're going to come into our sphinx pose here. Once we reach the belly, we're going to push up, bring our chest high, our gaze high. Breathing here, stretching through the front of the body. Now that we've stretched the back out so nicely. Press back up into our original flat back tabletop position here. Remember the hands are about shoulder width apart. Knees about hip width apart here. We're going to thread the needle to stretch out our shoulders just a little bit further here. So let's bring that right arm, bring it up to the sky, wiggle those fingers, and then thread it underneath the left shoulder. And so as you do this, you're going to come onto the right shoulder, twisting the body. And then that left hand is just going to come either straight in front of you here or option to bring it around behind your back. Your choice. And we're going to breathe here. Inhaling deeply through the nose. Exhaling deeply through the mouth. And allow gravity to just Bring you deeper into this pose. If you notice you're holding your face tight, any tension in the forehead, in the jaw, just release that tension. Bringing full relaxation to your face and throughout your body. Slowly start to unwind. So we're gonna take the left arm, bring that up into the sky, maybe wiggle the fingers, and thread it through under the right shoulder. Then we're gonna take this right arm, and we're going to either bring it in front of us here, or option like me to put it behind the back. Whatever feels good to you and your body. We're going to breathe here. Remember, relax the forehead, relax the jaw, and allow yourself to just sink deeper into this pose under the weight of gravity as you breathe deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Maybe you close your eyes here. Just noticing how you feel in your body. Bring the arms back down. Come back up into our flat back tabletop position here. And we're going to go ahead and go on to our backs for a short meditation before we finish up today. So maybe you choose to flip around the feet and come into a lying position. Arms can be straight, hold your chest, whatever feels good to you. I invite you to just close your eyes, soften the face, and begin to breathe deeply in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as you breathe, I invite you to notice the air as it moves 
in through the nose, cycles through the body, and out through the mouth. Can you visualize this movement of your breath? Maybe it takes on a color or a shape. And you picture that air flowing through every organ, bringing with it clean energy, pushing out and releasing anything that no longer serves you. Can you see in your mind Clean, positive energy as it flows through your body. Take a moment here if you have the time. Maybe take five to ten minutes of the Shavasana break. And if you start to feel your mind wander, you can always bring it back to this exercise of picturing the breath as it flows through your body. <laughs> 